Hey YouTube subscribers and watchers, this is Anki and you are watching Slide Nerd. Today we are going to talk about data types in Python. So let's get started. Last time we spoke about list. Today we are going to have a look at a new data type in Python that is tuples. The only difference between a tuple and a list is in a list you can change the values or add a value. In tuples you cannot do so. The values are final and cannot be changed. So let's have a look at them. The syntax for tuples is as follows. You will have a variable name also called as tuple name and equal to a assigning operator. The opening of a round bracket value 1, value 2 and so on and so forth and at the end the closing of the round bracket. Please note that a difference lies out here in the parenthesis. In list you have a square parenthesis or a square bracket. In tuples you have a rounded parenthesis or a round bracket. So let's take an example. Here in the python shell I have defined a tuple. The variable name of a tuple is list. The equal to or the assigning operator. The values are as follows 1, 2 and 3. Please note that whenever you have a round bracket it is a tuple. Whenever you have a square bracket it is a list. I find the type of this particular variable and I get my answer as tuples. So that is the difference between a tuple and a list. Also, you cannot modify the values of a tuple like the way you can modify the values in a list. Let's take an example and understand this. Here I have used the append function of a list. Here I have a variable name, the dot operator, the append function and the value to be appended. Since it is not a tuple but a list, the values cannot be appended and hence I get an error which says tuple object has no attribute called as append. This append attribute is only defined or confined to a list. Similarly, I cannot slice a value or change a value by using the indexing operator which I can in a list. The important note out here is the values of a tuple cannot be changed. It is finalized when it is created. If you like what you saw, please like the video, comment below and subscribe to SlideNode. Stay tuned for more in Python. Thanks for watching.